Two decades ago this past month. A day these women have been waiting for for nearly 20 years. The trial of Ratko Mladic. But in all that time, the way they feel about this man hasn't changed. Any punishment under 100 years would be too mild for this monster who watched and ordered executions of our innocent children. Hanifa lost her two sons, a daughter and her husband. She's tried but can't find peace. I talk to them all the time in my dreams. When I wake up, my children are gone. Then I cry. It's so hard they're not next to me. The former general was arrested last year in a village in northeastern Serbia. His capture after years on the run gave hope to victims' families that they'd see justice. But that same year, the bodies of more than 600 people were found in mass graves, reopening wounds that really hadn't ever healed. It's not just the mass killings in Srebrenica that Mladic is in the dock for. He's also charged with overseeing camps where thousands of people were detained, tortured and killed. Some of their families know what happened to their brothers, sons and husbands. Others still don't know and are hoping that with the trial they will finally know the truth. Many of the dead are buried here. Some people had hoped Mladic would face justice on Bosnian soil. Try them here. Make them look at the field of white tombstones, those who now keep what was once everything to us, our friends, our grandsons. This is hard and painful. Every mother here, when they go to the cemetery, I can't go on. The words of a mother for whom the wounds still cut too deep. Khadija Magadi, Al Jazeera.